Okay, let's move on to Team C of Unit 2. They are developing their hypothesis based on a comparison of uh, Mangwon market and also a street market of Egypt. Um, can you guys hear me? Shall we go? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can hear you. Um, so, uh, we wanted really to discuss uh, the new urban changes that has uh, rise with the with the rise of the uh, the pandemic of uh, COVID nineteen and how challenging it was it for the urban planners and. Um, for the current situation of the cities and how we could cope up with that. And uh, it means us think how can our cities cope up with the pandemic or what adjustment is possible in both cities uh, and, and, and cities uh, to keep up and to resist this pandemic. And um, we, when the guys went for the survey, society so surveying and mine down, and they used the, the study in manual counting at 46 street segment. Okay, we wanted um, this is some inspection, uh, some photo they took on the street. We can from their side, from their uh, from, from their side surveying, we concluded that the most dense part about the city uh, was the market, which had a lot of pedestrian flows. And thus, it wasn't the really safe sport uh, for people uh, to go and how we were thinking how we could regulate and change this form of the, uh, this part of the city so it can keep up with the, with the pandemic, as well as um, how can this uh, adjustment uh, change the flow of the pedestrians uh, from, the, from different destinations. So we, um, decide, we developed the bar hypothesis uh, from conducting a different analysis and network analysis so starting from the uh, residential houses to the market and from the metro and from the bars and we use different analysis to access the flow of the, uh, the, flow of the people and the density of streets uh, to come up with uh, to come up with uh, different scenarios we can test and we can apply our hypothesis that how can we change these road, roads into three different roads uh, to keep the social distance, uh, distance and the safety regulations. So we wanted to divide the roads uh, around the market into three different routes, uh, restricted routes and semi-restricted and one for free roads. And we decided to go on and see what factors could affect the flow of the people from different uh, different destinations to the market, like the distance and the sidewalks, the weight of the of the of the destinations uh, itself, and the density on the road hierarchy. And decided to develop some research question on how each factor can change uh, by changing each factor. How can it change uh, the flow of the people to the destination? Uh, so we started up by doing the analysis from the from the origins, uh, which were the residential houses, and see which route surrounding the market has the highest density and highest pedestrian flow, and how we can change these parts. And we use different analysis uh, to conduct the weight of each route, the pool uh, weights, for, and how the weight of the affect this route will 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 uh, will do it if we change uh, the fact its factor and its um, its function and here is some of the gravity analysis uh, which used the the attractiveness of the of the and the, uh, the attractiveness in the space to attract uh, the people to the destination and uh, the degree analysis which measures the total number of connecting edges to the destinations. And from uh, uh, from the first analysis, we conducted that the main road, in, which was in red, has the highest destinations and the historian flow starting from the points um, from people that, uh, are, who are coming for, uh, to the market from uh, their homes. And the second goes by the yellow one and the 
the blue one has the lowest weight. And the same goes on with the metro analysis. People who are coming from the metro to the retails and which point had the highest flow and highest attractiveness based on uh, the different analysis from the closeness and to the gravity analysis and degree analysis as well. And we conducted both the, the main road and red was actually with the main road that people would take and be the entrance for the people for the market if they're coming from the metro destinations. And the second one would be for the yellow board and the third one would be for the blue road, which has the lowest weight. And um, we went on for this analysis as well for the same hierarchy with the boards and see which point would uh, had the hot, largest weight of that. If it changed, it would actually change the flow of the people for, uh, for the board. And yeah, this was for the degree analysis for the measure. And this was with the result we conducted for each board and which uh, route had the highest value. And this board would go on with Dalian explaining that. Uh, I want to explain uh, people, people, people introducing our specific location strategy. I want to explain how how can we how can we manage our data in our algorithmic thinking. First, uh, there is uh, so many data in our site, but especially home data has four thousand five hundred twenty eight because it, it's a big data and then it makes my computer is mad. So we need to simplify this data. So first method we, we, we think is to simplify by grid. We can, uh, we can manage the grid's width and height and then find how many points in each grid so we can simplify the original home data. However, uh, this, uh, this uh, simplified method has weakness. It is uh, inaccurate, it makes inaccurate data because the grid is not relevant to the original, original load and city context, city, city system. So we, ne we need to find another method so we can find a uh, node-based simplification method. So we can simplify it by the road. So uh, if any point, when home, home data, it, uh, we, 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 we first we can find what, where is the closest node to the one home, home data. So we can, we can make, uh, we can make node points and then we can we can we can many home data into into the closest node so we can get a simplified data from 4,528 20, 4,528 to 2044 and it is have some deviation but it is we think you really Leader. So, but but this method have uh, weaknesses. That is a limitation of number of simplification. We can we can uh, we can control though how many how many points deleted. So, and then our another uh, algorithmic uh, strategy is the. It's related it to our rear market area. So I don't know why my GIF is working on the on there. So like this, we we put many uh, human points in the market area, and then 
we can get a connection and there's boundary. So by using this algorithm, we can get a how many people can be our market target site and also we can regulate it people's pass, password, uh, uh, pass, uh, people's pass. So we can, we can uh, summarize our uh, target site strategy. First, uh, we, we need to see is the main access street to the market by using net, uh, NNE network analysis. There is uh, mainly four and access street. There is a, uh, uh, we we give give we give a visual supplement to this main access street because they have relatively many traffic than other unrelated uh, load. So another thing we want to we want to say is the uh, our target site have gate. The gate have uh, if you want to come in. Our target site. We need to check check our attendance by using the application. Uh, the number of how many people can be in our site by from our uh, human point algorithm. So we can get a we can get a um, what is the state of our site? If there are a few people, we can just check the QR automation like there. And if there are so many people, we can make a reservation. And then uh, we make a, uh, oh, this is, uh, I'm sorry for not completing our site image, but as you can see, there is a main access street. And then this, this street is relatively on the late, latest street. And this central area is market uh, made by our social distancing algorithm. So people can check in the gate and then enter to our market area and they can find many market uh, market goods. Uh, thank you for our presentation. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you. Can you can you just uh, keep on sharing your screen and maybe just on the last page? I think that that bird eye perspective is very explanatory. Uh, it, it really helps to understand your scenario. Um, yeah, my, my, maybe my question is that all the routes are connecting those bubbles are now becoming roads and your market stores should be outside of your bubbles, isn't it? Darian, would you, would you share the screen on the last page again? Okay. Yeah, but anyways, I think it's an interesting uh, application of the, the algorithm or these tool sets. But I, I think you might want to just clarify the relationship between these pods and uh, the void area. Well, what I'm saying is if your, your market store cannot be standing here, they, sh they should be somewhere here. Like they should op occupy this area. If these are roots, I don't know. It's a question. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, in my opinion, I use uh, big uh, gap in our site like this, there will be filled by the plant and another furniture, furniture or sculpture. 
and then I don't I really just think about more about the, this the small area between our people's people's reason first network okay why I'm saying this is because that bubble is six feet you can only occupy one person in that bubble yes then all the other things that should occupy is the rest of the area. So if I, uh, I would consider these bubbles as, uh, as for the pedestrian roads. Yeah, I guess this is strategy. It's like a market in LA. If there's a maximum people inside of the building, so we need to wait. You know, things like that. I, I have no idea right now, but I guess. But, uh, yeah, but. Uh, Yesterday, Dahyun, you explained on us like uh, based on this algorithm, you you want to play with, you want to develop kind of like one or two more kind of alternative kind of uh, ways to by using this me uh, method or algorithm like which is now you just use like six feet, which is two meters kind of bubble, but you can also delete uh, once you kind of define this network, you just uh, I don't know, you you talk to us like you make kind of larger bubble size and you test it and see the network and you kind of, you know, you try to make kind of the best kind of solutions by using this algorithm. So that's what I understood yesterday. You, you, you wanted to kind of uh, develop this idea with two or three different kind of uh, scenarios. That's what I understand. So I, I, I totally understand this is your kind of very fundamental kind of uh, using development uh, of algorithm, but based on this, you also play with like, maybe change the dimension, like, uh, like four meters bottle bubble. And after that, you can also, I don't know, locate it some shops and also you run the, uh, this agent kind of uh, moving um, exercises again. And I can, I think based on this, you can play two or three different scenarios and then we can see. But I, I really appreciate your kind of approach and your kind of research kind of progress because the NADA kind of tried to uh, evaluate all the kind of the this. Uh, uh, regional scale of city size of analysis and then narrow down. So you guys kind of decide the, the specific uh, three streets and then uh, Dalian um, hand over her work and then you uh, test uh, with uh, this kind of human scale uh, exercises. So uh, I kind of I suggest that based on these uh, approaches and maybe you develop one or two more scenarios and um, talk about which one is better and but I really appreciate your kind of another idea which you make kind of applica develop application and uh, in a real time you know people can check like how full it is this area and how packed it is so people can reserve the space and you know it's a smarter way you know in US like when we go to supermarket like people should wait you know on the street, but if we can reserve uh, my visiting hours, maybe smarter ways to do so. Yeah. Also, while developing several strategies on top of this um, algorithm, also you, you can think about how you create some connection or interaction between the existing building and with your bubble. And also, um, Soham point out like some you know, small, little big uh, space between the bubbles. So we can, um, there's, I think, a space to, uh, you know, um, um, <coughs> developing your imagination and strategy, I guess. To make a most, more, more like a realistic scenario and then how you, you know, create the your, uh, algorithm on top of the realistic things, yeah. Yeah, actually, when I saw Mr. Dragon for the first time, I assumed that this is the small circles in some the free market place. And then the, uh, the in-between space, like the, the outside of the bubble could be some the pathway for the people, like people for, for the pathway or, or some the, uh, 
yeah, the movement space for the passengers. So I think it could be some the alternative the option for the project. If you increase the, uh, the size of the radius, so yeah, something like that. Yeah, definitely there are uh, multiple agencies you can consider coexisting together. Um, but considering you ha have only one day left, um, I would suggest to really just refine this specific diagram and just visualize your scenario. Um, anyhow, I think that will be really effective to kind of communicate with other people how you foresee these particular scenarios using the algorithm and your analysis. But of course, it's definitely up to you. And also, I quite, I quite like your using social distancing bubble as a kind of main, is important kind of methodology developing those strategies. But I think rather you explaining about your own set of the testing you better to explain your proposal with a scenario which everybody talking about in order to in order for us to understand what is the core of your proposal right so i think i get i i can get some potential from your what you are doing but i can get a what is really good or not you know so in a way you better to prepare for the next final result and Dario, maybe uh, once you done with this uh, generating new network in this area, you just uh, simply do the centrality analysis again, and you will see like because it's each central point of a circle represent the origin, and you can set up the destinations with like maybe two or three locations, and you you just run the uh, centrality analysis, and you will see which location is more kind of centrally occupied uh, within this network. So you can also make decision like you located here is like as a shop or maybe you just make this purse uh, the, within the network. If you really want to make kind of evenly distributed condition in this site. So I, I recommend you just do the like centrality analysis once you complete the network design in your site. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, when I see this more and more, I'm more and more bit like confused with like, you, you want to maybe set very clearly what is your object, uh, your program, programmatic object, which is market store, and what is the road, which is circulation. Because when I see your, this, I don't know if it's the Lune, but this like network system, then I don't see uh, this as market stalls because then it's contradicting each other. Now, if you are seeing these red lines as circulation, then the rest should be your occupiable space. Otherwise, uh, we should only see these bubbles as bubbles themselves. And there should be another system laying out for circulation. Well, yeah, basically when I see this, uh, there must be some clarity. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Dalian. Thank you. Thank you.